Hey guys, we're back and we're here with um, Morgan Solinar. I don't know. I, I know I looked down. I was just like down to myself. <laughs> so you're here to talk about On Golden Pond, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, play through the Montana Repertory Theater that's happening tonight and tomorrow, yes. 7:30 tonight, 2 p.m. matinee tomorrow, and mm -hmm. 7:30 p.m. tomorrow night. So let's talk about this play a bit. What can people expect by going to this play? Yeah. So it's a comedy, and it is kind of a typical American story about forgiveness and friendship and family and um, the simple things in life set on a cabin on Golden Pond so kind of homey rustic vibes and this is a six-person cast mm -hmm. uh, you it's gonna be traveling all around the state of Montana and beyond of course yes. Um, you told me that you're going to be in Texas, you're going to be in West Virginia, you're going to be all over the places. Yeah. What is the setting of this play? Where is this taking place? It's in Maine, um, and so it's just on the pond. It's kind of like a lake house sort of deal. Um, so, yeah. Cool. And um, you also said that this is based in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have any like music from the 70s? <laughs> I wish. No, unfortunately, it's late 70s, early 80s, so it's very... Uh, we got a lot of banjo music happening in there during the scene changes, which is kind of funny. Cool. So. And uh, what is your part? So I play Billy, which is the son of Bill, who's the boyfriend of Chelsea, who's the daughter of Norman, <laughs> if you can figure that out. That was very confusing. Um, and so Billy is kind of um, Norman's best friend, kind of becomes his best friend in the show. So he's 13-year-old boy. So, and, and then of course you. Know, I think in my mind I'm just like generalizing the play. It's like Norm is like I've seen things. I've been where you've been. Yeah. And that that kind of thing where they kind of like have a connection where like uh, I think that like teenagers and like older people like it's kind of like teenagers have this thing where they're just already done with something mm -hmm. before it's you know. And then of course old people are honestly done with every all the yeah, drama and stuff. Totally. I think it's good because I think Norman and Billy kind of help each other out and Norman's kind of done with his life and he's kind of kind of resigned to the fact that he's gonna die whereas Billy just thinks everything is super unfair and so they're both really good for each other because Billy gives Norman some kind of life and then Norman kind of instills some like respect and um, self-confidence in mm -hmm. Billy so it's a really good give-and-take relationship so yeah. every part is very crucial to this mm -hmm. play as well because each part every every person has like a monologue everybody has like their yeah. own uh, spotlight on them at any given totally. time so what can you tell me about uh, some of the characters in the play and how they interact with one another so Norman's wife Ethel is basically the, the perfect grandma. She's very excited all the time. Um, Ernest Thompson, who wrote the play, he gave us a little note before we um, started performing, and Ethel is loosely based around his mother, and he said her, his mother would follow um, the play around um, hyped up on coffee from McDonald's. So very excited caffeine drinker, and Ethel is kind of the foil for Norman, who is very, like, grouchy, not grouchy but very um kind of a typical old man yeah. you know and ethel's very excited and baking cookies and mm -hmm. making sure that everyone's okay so that's kind of how that relationship so works. are there anything people can expect and also uh them some things that are just kind of like w would might throw people off without you know spoiling the whole entire story yeah i think it's it's funny which is interesting because there's a lot it's very witty ernest thompson is so good at making good jokes and the actors have really good comedic timing so um it is it has a lesson and it is you know is somewhat depressing in the fact that it's about growing Growing old, but it is funny and it's very heartwarming, which is cool. Cool. So, so um, you guys are going to be here uh, for the next couple days. You guys are going to go out. So let's talk about some of the uh, tour dates of some other places that uh, may get a chance to see you. Yeah. So we are in Billings and then Lewistown and. Um, yes, that's all that I know off the top of my head right now. But we go Billings on. Um, Monday, I think, and then Lewis Town the next day. And where can people uh, go online to basically find more information about this? Um, yeah, you can go to the UM Arts box office, or you can go to grizzticks.com, um, and there's a whole bunch of information. Or you could go to the Montana Repertory, Montana Repertory uh, the Theater website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm, I'm assuming, um, like, Montana Repertory Theater, I've already associated them with, like, Shakespeare in the Park mm -hmm. and this and that. Um, w w and you... I mean, it's such an interesting time because school just started, and I know I asked you this question before. Yeah, totally. But, um, and you're also a student at the University of Montana, and um, so you you started earlier this uh, this year, mm -hmm. um, like, and you guys worked really hard, like, the last yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah, we started the 2nd of January, and we worked just eight-hour days for two weeks straight until the 19th, and then we opened and had our opening night gala party, and then we went on the road. 
So it's been a lot of long days, but very much worth it. But you also said you you, know, you were many hats in the show. Mm -hmm. So besides playing Billy, what other uh, things do you do in the show? So I'm the wardrobe technician, so I make sure all of the costumes are washed and pressed and put together and the dressing rooms are set up and they have everything that they need. And then I also um, help unload the set, so I'm another crew member. So we load in at 10 a.m. and put up the set right up until curtain and then I go be an actor for a couple hours and then after that I do wardrobe and then after that I take down the set and put it back up in the trucks and then we drive to the next place. Oh wow, so you're going to be driving all the way to Florida, West yes. Virginia? Yep. Whew. Driving all that way. <laughs> yeah, in big budget trucks and little minivans. So, Have you done it before? Um, I've not done a national tour before. I did go to the um, international China tour with the rep when we took To Kill a Mockingbird. I mm. played Jem Finch, but what, that was a much um, simpler tour because it was in China, so they had our set there for us and everything. We oh. didn't have to take it down, but yeah. All right, so um, once again, um, tell people where and when the show is. So it is tonight at 7.30, and then tomorrow at 2 and 7.30, and then you can come back the February 1st and 3rd for performances. All right, great. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me. Thank is there anything so else? Um, I just think that it's a really awesome, funny play, and you should come see it. All right. Well, thanks, and we'll be back with plenty more shows.